Hello my YouTube friends, my name is Democles Rocha and today I present to you a division. What is 21,673 divided by 8? If you support this initiative, give us a thumbs up and if you want to know about our new videos, subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell. Let's get started! In this division, 21,673 is the dividend, the value we will divide into equal parts. And 8 is the divisor, that means we are going to divide in 8 equal parts. It's good that we know the multiplication table of the divisor before we start the division. So, let's write down the multiplication table of 8. You will say that 0 times 8 is 0 because it's 8 not even once. And 1 times 8 is 8 only once, so it is still 8. Adding 8, we find 16, the result of 2 times 8. The next result is 24, then comes 32, then 40, 48, 56, 64, and finally 72. With the multiplication table available, things become very easy. So let's get started. We start by looking at the first digit that we have here. Since 2 is less than 8, we do not start yet, we group it with the next digit. Now we have 21, and since 21 is more than 8, we can start. And I ask a question, how many times does 8 go into 21 without going over? Taking a look at the multiplication table, you see that 3 times 8 is 24, which is too much. So we go with 2. I write 2 here. Since 2 times 8 equals 16, I write it here, and then I subtract. This is very easy, because 21 minus 16 is 5, since 16 plus 5 equals 21. After a subtraction, I always bring down the next digit, and by doing so, we find here 56. And I ask the question, how many times does 8 go into 56 without going over? You see that 7 times 8 equals 56, so we go with 7 this time. I write 7 here, since 7 times 8 equals 56, I write it here and then I subtract. You will say this is very easy because 56 minus 56 equals 0. After a subtraction, I always bring down the next digit. And by doing so, I find here now 0, 7. You can forget about the 0 on the left. Think only about the 7. How many times does 8 go into 7 without going over? You see that 1 times 8 is already too much, so the number we were looking for is 0. I write 0 here. Since 0 times 8 equals 0, that's what I write here, and I subtract. 7 minus 0 is still 7. After a subtraction, I always bring down the next digit. And by doing so, what do we find here? Well, we find here 73. And I ask the question again, how many times does 8 go into 73 without going over? You see that the number we are looking for is 9 this time. 9 times 8 equals 72. So I write 9 here. Since 9 times 8 equals 72, that is what I write here. And I subtract. You will say this is very easy again, because 73 minus 72 equals 1. Now you can see there are no other digits to bring down. What does that mean? It means that when dividing 21,673 by 8, the whole quotient is 2,709 and the remainder is 1. We can even write this. We can say that 21,673 equals 8 times 2,709. We get this product and we add the remainder, which is 1. So, if everything was done right so far, the dividend should be equal to the product of the divisor and the quotient added the remainder. For instance, if you want to divide 21,673 books equally among 8 schools, each school will receive 2,709 books and there will be one book left over. You cannot divide equally one book among 8 schools. But what if you are solving some other kind of problem and you want to continue the division? What should you do? Well, you can put the decimal point here. Since there are no digits to bring down, you can bring down 0. And by doing so, now we have here 10. Let me bring it up here so I can continue. Okay, and I continue by asking the question. 
How many times does 8 go into 10 without going over? You see that 2 times is already too much, so the number we were looking for is 1. I write 1 here. Since 1 times 8 equals 8, I write it here and then I subtract. 10 minus 8 equals 2. You see there are no digits to bring down, so I bring down 0. And by doing so, now I have here 20 and I ask the question. How many times does 8 go into 20 without going over? See that 3 times 8 is already too much, so the number we were looking for is 2. I write 2 here. Since 2 times 8 equals 16, that's what I write here, and then I subtract. 20 minus 16 equals 4. I can say that because 16 plus 4 equals 20. After a subtraction, I always bring down the next digit. There are no visible digits here to bring down, so I bring down 0. Now I have 40, and I ask the question. How many times does 8 go into 40 without going over? You see that 5 times 8 equals 40. So 5 is the number we were looking for. I write 5 here. 5 times 8 equals 40. That's what I write here. And then I subtract. 40 minus 40 equals 0. Since there is nothing left over and there are no visible digits to bring down, I can say this is over. I can now say that 21,673 divided by 8 equals exactly 2709.125.